All right, we got listening for 10 minutes in Tagalog. Okay. Oh, speaking of which, I saw there's like a passport picture. I was like, oh, I got my passport. I have my new passport now. I've renewed it thanks to the help of my mom. Thank you, mom, for that. Nagbabasa sila sa aklatan. Reading in the library. Nagbabasa ang babae sa restaurant. Reading at the restaurant. Oh, how sophisticated. Has, has everyone, anyone done that? Just read in a restaurant? Museo. Just like, you know, you go to a Starbucks, you sit down and you read a book. Has anyone ever done that? Because I've never done that. Nagtatrabaho sila sa banko. You work at the bank? Nagtatrabaho meh? ang babae sa hotel. What, like, meh to, like, the whole, like, reading in a, like, a cafe ang like Starbucks? Sa museo. Because I wonder how that's supposed to feel. I remember reading at a Barnes and Nobles at my local mall. And that was a thing. <laughs> Nasa bahay ang babae. Like, Nasa trabaho ang mga lalaki. I don't know. Nasa like, eskwelahan ang mga bata. I don't I don't see the appeal of Nasa reading at a cafe. Ang pamilya. But then again, I'm weird and different. Because I know like it's supposed to be calming to read at like a chill cafe like Starbucks and stuff, I guess. Mm. Nagbabasa ang bata sa bahay. Okay, I got it, I got it. Uh reading in the house. Nagluluto ang lalaki sa bahay. Mm. Cooking at home. Nagluluto ang mga lalaki sa trabaho. Okay, cooking for work. Nagbabasa ang you also, mga bata sa eskwelahan. You also like to mention that you also met of one of your favorite illustrators in Seattle, Ellen Forney. Oh! Nasa bahay Did you meet them? ang mga bata. Did you meet them at like, uh, like a book signing or something? Pupunta sa eskwelahan ang mga bata. Ellen Forney like sounds familiar. I don't know why. But she sounds familiar. Pupunta sa eskwelahan ang mga bata. Okay, yeah. Pupunta. I just wanted to hear Pupunta that. Pupunta sa post office ang babae. Headed to the post office to catch you. Nasa post office ang babae. At the post office. Nasa eskwelahan ang mga bata. Nasa bahay ang babae. But yeah. Dolchiga. That's the phrase that Okayo said in that, uh, uh, in that clip I watched of the virtual tubers playing um, Liar's Table. And I thought that was so funny. <laughs> Liar! Dolchiga! <laughs> and then like Subaru got like outed. <laughs> she lost. It was funny. Pupunta siya sa restaurant. Oh, going to the restaurant. Oh, okay. Pupunta siya sa aklatan. Oh, going to the library. Okay, okay, okay. All right, going to the library. Going to the El Toshokane. Get it? Because Toshokan is library Pupunta in Japanese. Pupunta siya sa banko. Ba a banko? That guy does Pupunta not look like going to the bank. Museo. Going to the museum. Okay. Pupunta ako sa hotel. Oh my gosh, Sakura. You... <laughs> Why are you lying? Parque. parque, okay. Why are you lying, Sakura? You're like, well, not the actual Ellen Forney, but you de did meet a few lookalikes. So you basically... Nakatayo ang you mga did celebrate tao Halloween stage. over in Seattle. So... What'd you say? Nakatayo ang mga tao sa estadio. Oh, okay. Everyone's standing in the stadium. Okay, gotcha. Nagtatrabaho ang lalaki sa gasolinahan. Oh, working at the gas station? Nakaupo oh. ang babae sa teatro. Oh, bro, this chick has the whole theater to herself. But, uh, yeah, so you didn't actually meet Ellen Forney. You just met people that Kailangan were, that looked like it or were dressed up gasolina. as Ellen Forney? Is that what you're saying? Nagbabasa siya ng mapa. Okay, reading the map. Oh, I just want to put it out there that the background audio that you are listening to um, is actually Doobie live playing Squirrel with a Gun. So, Doobie is live if you want to check out her stream on YouTube. So, and we're, we're actually currently listening to her stream live. So, yeah. <laughs> Kailangan niya ng gasolina. Oh, bro. It's gonna, that sucks that your car's in like the countryside and you have to walk all the way to a gas station again. Like, gas sucks. Kailangan niya ng mapa. You need a map? Girl, I need a map Kailangan to get through life. <laughs> <ng kape. laughs> You're not lying. 
You did say lookalikes, and it all felt like you did see the real thing aside from Bigfoot. Well, well, okay, all right, Sakura, I'm gonna put it out there. You you literally said you wanted to mention that you met one of your favorite illustrators in Seattle, Ellen Forney. That was the first thing. And then you follow that up by saying, well, not the actual Ellen Forney. And I'm like, what the fudge? <laughs> so you didn't actually meet Ellen Forney. You only met a few lookalikes. That's, that's misleading. Don't say, like, oh, I met Ellen Forney. Oh, actually, no, it was just a lookalike. It's like, what the heck? No, <laughs> that means you've never met Ellen Forney. You just met a lookalike. So you're not lying? Hmm. Hmm. Chat receipt says otherwise. Hmm. <laughs> At least you admitted to lying about Pupunta Bigfoot. Kami sa teatro. Lied to me. Lied to me. Pupunta ako sa hotel. Pupunta ako sa aklatan. Hmm. Pupunta kami sa museo. You're going to the museum. Pupunta kami sa post office. You're going to the post office. You just wanted Pupunta to surprise me? Gasolina. Well, you did it. You surprised me. Because you're like, I met Ellen Forney. No, not really. I've met a few lookalikes. Like, what? Nani? What? You tricked me. That's the surprise. Pupunta kami sa gasolinahan. You did the job Pupunta right, Sakura. You surprised banko. me. Pupunta kami sa Banco. If you had to cater that, Nasa it'd be Bangkok. Ng puno ang lalaki. <laughs> uh, wait, front? What, huh? Nasa likod ng puno oh, behind. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was like, which one? <laughs> Nasa likod ng kobre kama ang batang babae. Oh, behind Nasa the covers. Nasa harap ng kobre kama ang babae. Harap? Nasa harap ng puno harap. ang okay. batang lalaki. Oh. No! Ah! No, I'm doing that again. No, I'm doing that one again. No, 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 no. We're redoing that. That was a mistake on my part. I did not mean to click that. No, I should have gotten Nasa it. Nasa likod ng puno you. ang welcome. lalaki. Likod, right? Good. Okay, that's one Nasa out of four. Nasa harap ng kobre kama ang babae. Okay, that is two out of four. Nasa likod ng kobre kama ang batang babae. Okay, that is three out of Nasa four. Nasa harap ng puno ang batang lalaki. Okay, cool. We redeemed ourselves. Really quick, really easy to do that. I was like, bro, how did I screw that up? <laughs> Nasa tabi ng kotse ang lalaki. Okay, tabi. Okay, next two. Nasa harap ng kotse ang lalaki. Okay, in front of. Nasa likod ng kotse ang lalaki. Behind. Why? No, we're doing that one again lalaki. too. I chose the wrong one. It was I said behind, and I chose the picture of the dude in front of the car. <laughs> Nasa tabi ng kotse ang lalaki. That's literally my bad. No, I'm redoing Nasa that. Nasa likod ng kotse ang lalaki. Okay, behind. That's the correct one this time. Nasa harap ng kotse ang lalaki. Okay, in front. Cool. Now I did it. I did it correctly. Nasaan ka? Nasaan ka? Nasaan ka? Where are you? Nasaan ka? Nasa likod ako ng kotse. Okay, behind the car. Nasa ilalim ako ng silya. I am underneath the chair. Nasa likod ako ng silya. I am behind the chair, bro. That <laughs> Nasa ilalim ako <laughs> the ng picture kotse. of the kids like, what the fudge? Where'd this girl come from? She was behind my couch the entire time. Oh wow, they still have pictures of people underneath their car to work on it. I still have Nasa uh, me and my parents we still have like the movable like that thing. What is it? It's a movable cart with a cushion in the back where you can roll underneath your car and work on it from underneath the car. My dad and I still have it in our garage, so... What'd you say? I heard puno. Nasa kaliwa niya ang puno. Oh! T trees Nasa left to her. Nasa kanan niya ang kotse. Okay, car's right. Nasa kanan niya ang mga bulaklak. Uh, she has flowers on her right. Lots of them. Nasa kaliwa niya ang bintana. Okay, windows to the left. Okay, gotcha. To be more truthful, you also visited book fairs, Zinefest, and bought a... Gundam building model Nasa set for cheap. Niya ang oh, that's mapa. cool. How much did you get the Gundam building model set for? 
Nasa kanan niya ang mapa. Oh, I was like, what are you saying? Oh, it's like, which picture has a map? Oh, bicicleta. Okay, bike. I heard bike. I was like, that's all I needed. Nasa kanan niya ang aso. Oh, dog. Dog. Aso is dog. Ah, oh, 64 out of 64. Five more, it would have been 69. <laughs> okay, cool. We did it. We have successfully done all the languages. Aso equals ulam. Is that another way to say dog in Tagalog, Rit? Is that what you're telling me? You educating me? Is that what you're doing? Ulam is how you say side dish. That was very smooth, and that was certainly a surprise. <laughs> Dog equals side dish. Huh? Apparently, Northern Filipinos have that. I, 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 did I tell that story? I think I did that on stream. It was like 12 to $11. That's cheap for a Gundam building model set, Sakura? C good job getting that for cheap. You went to book fairs in Zine. How was Zine Fest? I know you were telling me about Zine. Yeah, no, right, right? 11 to $12 for that? Dang! I'm used to seeing way more, like, at least min minimum, like, 20 to 30. Then, like, soccer's like, yeah, I got this for 12 11 Like, <laughs> maybe I need to go to Seattle to get some Gundam sets. <laughs> what the fudge? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, I remember, th this was a long time ago. This is when I was still playing, like, Genshin every stream. And it was, what was it, Leo... Was we, me and Leo were talking, and Leo was cracking jokes about a Filipino's eat dog or something in chat. And I was like, we don't, at least in my family, we don't. And they were, and then he was like, oh, and proceeds to post a link in chat. And I was like, what is this? I look it up, and there's an area in the Philippines where Filipinos eat dog. And I was like, huh? And I remember going downstairs like, hey, Dad, do we eat dog? And my dad's like, oh... It's a different group of Filipinos. They're weird. I was like, oh, shoot. <laughs> so I'm from the Filipino group that doesn't eat dog. But unfortunately, that is a silly stereotype that is true, that certain Filipinos eat dog. <laughs> oh, man, animal rights activists could are, like, rolling in, sh in, like, the world right now. What? Filipinos eat dog? Well, yeah. In, I think, what, the northern part? Hold on, let me fact check myself. Let me fact check myself, because I know there's a, it's, it's either, I'm pretty sure it's in the north, northern, a group of northern Filipinos eat dog. Filipinos eat dog, question mark? Okay, 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 according to the AI overview in Google, yes, some Filipinos eat dog, particularly in the Cordillera Highlands where dog meat is eaten in a cleansing ritual after certain events. The ritual is called Daoes or Daoes and involves sacrificing and eating a dog. It's typically performed after a death, serious illness, release from prison, or witnessing death. The ritual is legally permitted, but the Committee on Animal Welfare oversees it and requires participants to keep records. Co Cordillerans believe that dogs have pure souls similar to humans and are therefore most appealing to ancestor spirits. During the ritual, a shaman sends the dog's soul to the spirit world as a messenger which is thought to cleanse the participants of evil spirits and images of death. The dog meat trade is also widespread in other countries including China, South Korea, Thailand, Laos, Vietnam, Cambodia, and Indonesia. The trade is well organized and dogs are often stolen or taken from the streets, transported long distances, and slaughtered. Um, this is the generative AI's experimental. There's dog meat Wikipedia, Asia's dog meat trade facts, humane society. Wow, I didn't think I'd learn that today. And I'm apologize to my Filipino brothers if I'm saying Cordillera Highlands wrong. Bruh, I am shook. I didn't know this was a thing. Like, no, I'm this. You can you can screenshot this. Like, I just typed in. Filipinos eat dog question mark. Wow. And I didn't know there was more in-depth analysis and reasons why that happens. I didn't know there was a ritual for this. I'm like, bro, my people are crazy. <laughs> this is why it's like, this is why whenever, like, uh, my friends, like, ask me, do you ever think about dating a Filipina? And I'm like, I don't know. 
Because <laughs> I know, like, Filipinos are crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. I dated, I, I dated a Filipino. Well, my ex was half Filipino, so I was like, oh. Well, didn't work out. She found someone better, so. Anyway, enough about me being self-deprecating for like two seconds. Anyway, let's see. We say, you're freaking learning Glender. You're cooking Glender. You mean Blender? <laughs> yeah, no, G and B are close to each other on the keyboard. <laughs> Glender. What is Glender? Rit? Explan expound. You gained some information from the host hostel you were staying in and learned about this very small toy shop that sells several anime model sets. Oh, that's really cool. A hole in the wall shop. It's all the way at the... Ch oh, in the Seattle's Chinatown. Uh, they got lots of cheap... Well, it's in Chinatown, so yeah. Pretty much, but as far as you know, the shop does sell models that are up to $45. Interesting. That's actually very interesting. You just bought the cheapest one and smallest one that could fit into your carry-on. That's fair. Good thing you're thinking about, like, how much you can carry. It's fair. Yeah, that, that really is fair. All right, cool. Well, we learned something today, guys. Anyway. Let's see. Also, about my dad saying they're weird, just don't quote me on that. That's what I remember, but that may not have been true. I was kind of going on a high, I'm like, oh. They eat dog? <laughs> Some of my people eat dog. Hey, let's get let's get this situated. Properties. Okay, it's active. Alright, alright. Okay, cool. Let's let's play it. 